You are great, you are wonderful, you are worthy. 
you are everlasting you are the king you are the lord lift your voice and worship the lord for who he is man kefai is only name he is the king of kings he is the lord of lord he is the most high he is the father to the fatherless he is the alpha and omega he is the beginning and the end there's none like him he has done mighty he has done great in him there's no impossibility is the wise than the wisest is the bigger than the biggest is the lily of the valley is the the lord of shalom father we adore you father we exalt you there's none like you who is like you oh lord among all gods there's none like you lord we worship you you are glorious in holiness you are fearful in praises you do us wonders always we worship you we exalt you we magnify you we honor you lord lift your voice magnify his holy name lord we worship you lord we exalt you lord we exalt you thank you lord my father thank you redeemer thank you mighty god exalted be you lord magnified be you lord in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus thank you redeemer Thank you master in Jesus name we have worshiped and everybody say a big amen shout a big and a believing amen thank you lord viewers all over the world together with GLCC family wherever you are allow me on behalf of God's servant our father in faith our bishop to welcome you into our deliverance service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It does not matter what has been oppressing you for that long time. The grace of the Lord is here today and I know the prophet of God will release the word of grace that will meet all your needs and that case will be terminated in Jesus name. So welcome all and I know the Lord of wonders is going to do wonders upon your life. Bible says in book of Obadiah 17 and the poor Mount Zion, there shall be healing, there shall be deliverance, there shall be salvation, and the house of Jacob shall possess its possession. Today is your day to possess your possession in Jesus' mighty name. Someone shout a big amen. So, I want us to thank the Lord because of his faithfulness upon our lives, because of his mercies upon our lives. The word of God says in the book of Psalms, 116 open with me please in the book of psalms 116 verse 12 is the question the bible says what shall i lend to the law for all his benefit toward me that is a question that david was asking deep in his heart verse 17 he looked and saw that he can do all over and to the law except that's giving it says i will offer to you the sacrifice of that giving please lift your voice and over the fruit of your lips unto the Lord. Tell the Lord thank you because of this day, because of the privilege to worship him today, to be in his house today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The privilege to hear his word today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The privilege to be here today, to be delivered today, a privilege of your turn around today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. We bless you. We exalt you. Thank you for the privilege that you are given unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to serve you, to honor you, to exalt you, to magnify you. We say thank you, Daddy. We say thank you, Master. We say thank you, Daddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the deep of our heart, we appreciate you. We exalt you for all you are for what you have done for what you have been doing for what you shall do upon our lives lord we glorify your name lord we exalt you we say thank you lord we say thank you master thank you because of my healing thank you because of my deliverance today thank you because of my salvation today thank you because of my possession today all around about i say thank you i say thank you because you're the meter of all needs i exalt you i magnify you to your lord be all the honor to you be all the glory to you be all the honor to your lord be all the glory in jesus mighty name we have thanked the lord 
and everybody say amen and because you have given thanks your miracle and your case will be permanently settled in jesus name you are going to receive your miracle in jesus name again i want us to make another prayer because today is our deliverance service i want you to tell the lord father god visit me today and do a new thing <clears throat> and do a new thing in the book of isaiah 43 verse 19 43 verse 19 isaiah the word of god says be odd i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall you not know it i will even make a road in the wilderness and deliver us in the desert you shall be lifting your voice and telling the lord lord visit me visit me today in the mighty name of jesus christ wherever you welcome the presence of god darkness is terminated because wherever there is light there is no darkness so that case in the new will be terminated today in the mighty name of jesus christ this is a arena of miracles this is a arena of healing this is a arena of deliverance lift your voice tell the lord to visit you today fire is servant let the lord visit you fire is what today let the lord visit you and do a new thing he visited sarah and he did a new thing at yes he had said he caused sarah to have love in the mighty name of jesus christ for the lord visit us today even visit our viewers wherever they are visit them that they call their case is not big lord you are god who answer let prayers answer them today visit them mightily them that has been waiting you for law visit them law visit them law and do a new thing and do a new thing terminate that permanent case in the mighty name of jesus christ cancel that cancer in the mighty name of jesus christ terminate that sickness terminate that barrenness terminate that sickness terminate that joblessness terminate that literature terminate that limitation do a new thing law do a new thing law in jesus mighty name we pray and believe in jesus name lift your voice and say thank you lord thank you master thank you redeemer as we welcome praise and worship you father we appreciate you in jesus name amen continue telling god thank you just tell god who is in your life tell he's wonderful in your life you know god who is in your life this evening he has been faithful in your life since the week started up to this moment he's god of wonders in our lives Father, we bless your holy name this evening. We say thank you for your love upon our life, Daddy God. Receive all the honor because you are born of wonders in this place, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, our Father. Lord, we bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you.
Everybody say amen. Wapi magofi ya Yesu jioni ya leo? Pigia Yesu magofi mazuri. Haleluya. Tunaenda kumsifu Bwana. Naomba tukampigie Mungu makofi. Tunapoenda kumsifu jioni ya leo. Haleluya. Pigia Yesu makofi. Haleluya. Makofi kwa Yesu. Oh, 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 oh,
tonight magnify the name of Jesus glorify the name of Jesus you are worshiping the Lord you are exalting him makosa gabalaba libushi hatalaba shanda laba bushila laba busitelebi somebody cry to God tonight tell the Lord remember me tonight deliver me tonight Remember me tonight, deliver me tonight. Let that be your prayer tonight. Please lift up your voice, cry to God, God of remembrance, to visit you tonight. The Lord to remember you, the Lord to touch your life. Desire a touch of God tonight. Desire the Lord to touch your life. Desire the Lord to touch your life tonight. Rabo Shagadosa Kabalaba. Let there be divine visitation. Let there be divine visitation. We need you, Daddy God. We need an encounter tonight. We need an encounter with your power, an encounter with your grace, an encounter with your mercy. Lord, tonight, Rabu Shagabalaba. Le maze gedeli ababushanda, molo bushahagado sakaba. Daddy God, let there be divine visitation. Rabu shagada sakaba raba, mala babushi la la babuse teliba, molo bushinde le biso talaba, le ba shela la babusanda laba. Show yourself in my life. Let that be your prayer tonight, Lord. Show yourself in my life. Show yourself in my life. Let that be your prayer. Lord, show yourself in my life. Show yourself in my life. Show yourself in my life. Libu shagado sakaparaba. Rabu shalalaba businde libi sotalaba. Malubu shia dalaba shanda. I pray that none of these dear ones will go home disappointed. None of them will go the same they came. Lord, it is an expression of faith. Makasaga balaba. For them to come, desperate for your touch. Show yourself, Lord. Satisfy their desire and let your name be exalted. We love you and we honor you. Cause us to hear your voice. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed and God's people say, Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Team, God bless you. Thank you for ministration. Now, welcome to this deliverance service in the mighty name of Jesus. My request to you raise your expectation. 
Don't waste this moment by allowing your mind to wander in just anywhere, here and there. I want you to remain focused. I want you to concentrate on what God is speaking to us tonight. For I'm sure the Lord will touch your life, the Lord will deliver you, the Lord will restore you. The last about last three weeks, I've been sharing with us on the mystery of deliverance, the mystery of deliverance. So viewers, please, thank you for connecting to this service. Remain tuned to the end, and God will touch your life. I've been sharing with us on the mystery of deliverance. And I've taken time to show you that there are two kinds of world. There is the physical world you are very familiar with. But there is another world called the spiritual world. The spiritual world. Now the spiritual world is very powerful. The spiritual world controls what happens here. The spiritual world, um, the physical world came from the spiritual world because God is in is a spirit. God is a spirit. He's in the spiritual realm. He operates in the spiritual realm. Satan is also a spirit. So the spiritual world has two kingdoms. We have the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. Now understand, the spiritual world operates on the basis, I mean on legal basis. Understand this. The spiritual realm operates on legal basis. Now things do not just happen for the sake of happening. There are principles that control the spiritual realm. Now, those principles, because the spiritual realm affects the physical world, those principles also happen and affect the physical world. Are we together? Now, when you see a particular challenge reoccurring, occurring and reoccurring in your life, there is a reason. There is a reason as to why that thing is happening again and again. Understand that, well, that very well, please. The Bible says in Proverbs 26 and verse number 2. Look at this scripture. Proverbs 26, verse number 2. The Bible says, As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the cars costless shall not come. The cars costless shall not come. Now, a cars is a spiritual force. It's a spiritual force. A cars is a spiritual force, but it will affect mankind. And the effects of a cars will be seen physically. A cars is a spiritual force. So it is operating from the spiritual realm. And the spiritual world will never allow a cars to affect, to come into your life without a reason, without a cause. So in the stand, there must be a reason as to why a particular challenge is of a staying in one's life. Hear this. Now, any challenge that comes your way, because we are bound to meet challenges in this world, but that challenge is not supposed to overstay. The Bible says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. So any challenge that has come your way because of one reason or the other, is not supposed to overstay. But if you see something has come, a particular sickness has come, for a certain time, after another time, it comes. After another time, it comes. Then you need to realize that thing is from the spiritual realm and it has a reason as to why it's affecting your life. Are we together? Now, 
Nahum chapter 1 verse 9, the Bible says, What do you imagine against God? Affliction shall not rise against you the second time. So when you see something reoccurring and reoccurring, there must be a cause as to why that challenge is coming. Yes, the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. So how comes that thing is not coming to an end? How come that affliction has stayed for a year, for two years, for three years? The thing is not giving way. There must be a cause as to why that thing is coming. Say together with me, Lord, deliver me tonight. Cry one more time, Lord, have mercy on me and deliver me tonight. So you may try to search in your life as to why is this thing happening? Why is this thing happening in my life? You try to search, to search, to search. You are not getting a reason. Where you find yourself, you are not even knowing. If, for example, they have told you of prayer and fasting, you have fasted. You have even gone to a level of giving a sacrifice. You have done it. You have been prayed for, but the thing is still persisting. There is a reason. But maybe you don't know why. What is the reason behind this thing? Then you need to cry to God for mercy. Someone said the cry of mercy. Because some of the things affecting your life, you might not be the one who opened the door for them. The story is told of a particular family, three families in West Africa. In those early days when they had paramount chiefs. And when a chief would die, they would not bury that chief alone. They would get some of the, the subjects, some of the people, and they would bury the man together with other people alive. They believed, since this is a big man, he needs to be ministered in the other world by some people. And one man died, but they could not get someone to bury with him. So they woke up early one morning, three men, and they waited as women were going to the river and they captured one lady and they buried her alive and she was pleading with them pleading please have mercy on me don't kill me don't bury me but those are i mean those cries were landing on deaf ears and they buried her but when she was about to be covered she spoke and said why should your daughters outlive me in other words you will never have daughters who will go beyond my hedge. That's what she said. Why should your daughters outlive me? And they thought those were just mere words. And they buried the lady and they went their way. And those three men grew them, go buried. But in their families, all the ladies born in those families, at a particular age, Something will happen and they will die prematurely. And they began to wonder what is happening, what is happening. And that continued even to their children's children, even to their to their grandchildren. At a particular age, they will still die. And now there are two ladies got born again in one of these families, and they were fearing to die after seeing the history in their family. And they, they, they went to their pastor. And the pastor declared a week of prayer and fasting together. And they began to pray. That's why it's very, very important. When you hear it's a week of prayer, don't hide yourself. Give yourself to prayer. And as they were praying, the Lord revealed to the pastor and told him, told those two ladies to go and ask their grandfather what they did to a certain lady and what she said. And they went to their grandfather, who was very old. And their grandfather was open to them, and he remembered, yes, there was a lady we buried together with our paramount chief. And when she, she was about to be covered, she spoke some word, and she said, why should our daughters outlive our hands? And they went back to the pastor. And the pastor told them, that is the cause. That is the reason as to why ladies in your family have been dying prematurely. 
Now, when that was located, their deliverance came. That's why I said, anything you see happening in your family, in your life, and that thing you have tried to arrest it, you have tried to pray against it, you have tried to break it, but the thing is still coming, it's still pushing, there must be a reason. Now, until you locate the reason and deal with it, until you locate the roots and deal with the roots, the tree will keep on blossoming. You will try to cut it, the roots blossoms, it will burn again and you will see the challenge coming up again. So to terminate it, you need to go to the roots and uproot it. Once again, lift up your right hand to God and say, Lord, whatever is the cause of the challenges I've been facing, reveal it to me and let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord have mercy on me. Lord have mercy on me. Amen. So, I'm showing tonight what I'm calling the force of mercy. The force of mercy. Because mercy as a way of going to the roots of the root cause of your challenge and as a way of uprooting it. Now, what is mercy? What is mercy? I would say mercy is Lord's loving kindness. I'm, this time I'm not talking of just any mercy, I'm talking of God's mercy. So when I talk of God's mercy, I'm talking of that Lord's loving kindness and compassion. The Lord's loving kindness and compassion over somebody. I would say it is the nature of God. It is that nature of God. Mercy is a nature of God. So when you are crying for mercy, you are calling a dimension of God's nature to come into your life. Remember, God is love. Amen? God not only loves you, but God himself is love. So when you say God's love, you are also talking of God, God himself, because God is love. He not only loves you, but he himself is love. Now, when we talk of mercy, we have said it is God's loving kindness. God's loving kindness. Now, out of the heart of God, where else are? Is mercy. The heart of God is just releasing. There is the way water wells up in a particular well. You have, you have, you have gone in, in a particular place and you see the water coming underground. Now, what comes out of the heart of God is, is mercy, is love toward us. Look at Evasion chapter 2 and verse number 4. Evasion 2 and verse number 4. The Bible says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Now, God has loved you with a great mercy. I mean, great love. So, I mean, God has loved me with a great love. Now, because of his great love toward you, the Bible says, His mercy toward you is rich. Is rich mercy, is mercy. He has a lot of mercy for you. God, who is rich, who is rich in mercy. He is rich in mercy. Why is he rich in mercy towards you? Because of his great love with which he has loved you. That's why I've told you, Moyo wa mungu unabubujika. It wells up mercy. It is welling up mercy out of his, his out of love his love is too much his love is too great towards you now look at psalm 86 psalm 86 there's something i want you to understand because as we rise tonight to pray there are challenges that have overstayed in your life the seed of those challenges will be crushed by God's mercy. 
I say the seed of those challenges in your life shall be crushed by God's mercy. The roots of those challenges shall be terminated by the mercies of God. Look at Psalm 86. Psalm 86. And put your eyes on verse number 15, please. The Bible says, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion. Thou art a God full of compassion. His heart is full of compassion. Full of compassion. And gracious, long-suffering, and the plenteous in mercy and the truth. Look at those words. Our God is full of compassion, is gracious, is patient, that is, is long-suffering, and the plenteous in mercy and the truth. Oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save thy son, the son of thine antimant. David was crying to God. And the, there is something David knew which the Old Testament people never knew. You see, in the Old Testament, God revealed himself as God of the law. As God of the law. And the law has no mercy. But David never approached God as God of law. He approached God as God of mercy. David knew a secret about God. You remember David, the Bible says he was, one day he was moved by Satan and he counted people against the will of God. Because the children of Israel were not supposed to fight the battle as if it's their own strength. So he counted the army to know the kind of strength he has. The kind of the people he has. He counted all the people. And the thing was against the will of God. And God came and told him, now I give you three options. Number one, three years of famine. Option two, three months of being pursued by your enemies. Option three, to fall in the hands of God. God himself to strike you, to beat you, to punish you. And the man said, I better fall in the hands of God than falling in the hands of my enemies. There is something he knew about God. And that's what I'm revealing to you. David knew God of mercy. So I mean, God is plenteous in mercy. God is rich in mercy. He loves me so much. David knew that secret. He said, I better fall in the hands of God. Because as he will be beating me, as I cry to him, he will have mercy on me. So I mean, Lord have mercy on me. Lord have mercy on me. Look at Psalm 103. Psalm 103 and verse number 8. Psalm 103 and verse number 8. The Bible says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. All these are written by David. He knew something about God. He knew if a man will get angry, before his anger goes down, he may have killed you. So he, he said, hey, let me not fall in the hands of a man. I better fall in the hands of God who does not get angry quickly. And before he boils in anger, he will have mercy. I will cry to him and he will have mercy on me. God is plenteous in mercy. I'm showing you things. David knew. Psalm 108, verse number 4. Psalm 108 and verse number 4. For thy mercy is great above the heavens. Now look at that dimension of mercy. Think of where heavens is. The Bible says, For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reaches unto the clouds. For thy mercy is great above the heavens. So his mercies upon you are great. Tell me his mercies upon my life. They are great mercies. Now, that, that's why I, I, I've told you, having this understanding, maybe what you are facing, you may be facing challenges in your marriage. You may be facing challenges in your career. And little do you know, maybe your forefathers, they did something that has opened a door for the attacks in your life. When the people are crucifying Jesus, 
Mm. Pilate was willing to release Jesus. He said, this man has done nothing. And even the wife of Pilate had, had a dream. And he saw in the night that Jesus was innocent. And he told the husband, please have nothing to do with this man. This man is innocent. And when Pilate saw that these people were determined to kill Jesus, he said, bring me some water. And he washed his hand and said, the blood of this man who is innocent is not on my hands. I have to do with him as you wish. And I said, let his blood. Hear, hear what the people said in ignorance. They thought they were doing justice. Because of they, they said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. Imagine they have bought something, not only for themselves, but also for their children. They said, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. That's exactly what some, our forefathers did. They thought they were protecting their, their household. They brought witches and wizards to protect. And they said, I want my children and my children's children to be protected. So they hosted a demon to, be, to make sure none of them will go anywhere. He said, we don't want, I don't want my children to be scattered. I want them to remain here. I don't want them to be scattered. And that's why some of you, you try to go abroad. What brings you back to your village? You don't know. <laughs> the force they did, they thought they were protecting their house or their family. So they invited forces of wickedness to watch over them. And you find you have gone born again, but that force is still fighting you. Understand this? Blessed be God. I say, Blessed be God. I told you some times ago, a pastor, a great man of God, he shared this thing. I was there, he was sharing. And he told, he told us, when he was a small baby, he had no appetite for food. I don't know whether you have seen children who don't want to eat, and the, the child is becoming thin and thin and thin. And the parents took this child to one herbalist to increase the appetite of the child. And the child began to eat well and the child began to grow well. But one time, this, this child, after growing up, gave his life to Christ. But every time, he's born again, but every time he would try to fast, hey, he would collapse, fall down, until they bring food. When they bring food, he woke up, eat the food. Continue. I began to wonder what's wrong. <laughs> he, he asked his brother, uh, one man of, please help me. I don't know what not affect me. And as they were praying, and demons screamed and said, When he was a baby, he was brought to us. And our assignment, which we were given, was to make sure he must eat. Why is he refusing food? We must make sure he eats. So the demon behind was the one causing him to collapse. And once they bring food, they will wake up to eat. The demon was at work. And yet the brother is born again. It was operating on a legal ground. That's why I've told you the spiritual world does not operate just now. No, no, no. The spiritual world is not ignorant. It's only the physical world where we are, people are ignorant. The spiritual world follows the rules, the regulation. They lay down regulation. So the demon had an assignment. They were given by the parents. The parents asked the abalist to make sure the child must eat. So the demon was operating on a legal ground. So until the legal ground was broken, the brother remained in bondage. That's what I say. For your deliverance, because some of the things you may not even be aware, you may not be aware. That's why tonight we will cry for God's mercy. We will cry for God's mercy. Look at lamentation. Lamentation. There's something I want to show you. Lamentation is after Jeremiah. Are you there? 
Now look at verse number 7 of chapter 5. Lamentations chapter 5 and verse number 7. The Bible says, Our fathers have sinned and are not. In other words, they have sinned and they, 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 they are dead. And we have borne their iniquities. Hear that statement. They are the one who committed the abomination. We are not the one. We are innocent. And they later died. But who are carrying the burden? We are the one carrying, bearing the burden. We are the one carrying the burden. That's why tonight we will cry for God's mercy. Look at Lamentation chapter 3. Lamentation chapter number, number 3. And I show you first number 20, 22. Verse 22. Are you there? It is of the Lord's mercies. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion faileth not now hear that the compassion of god does not fail the compassion your prayer life may fail in a way your commitment may fail in a way but god's compassion his compassion for you does not fail and because of his masses we are not consumed we are not consumed look at the next fast the next fast verse 23 his masses are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So the masses of God have a way of exempting you from getting consumed. The masses of God. Look at verse 21, where we, I mean 22, where we have read. It is of the lost masses that we are not consumed. So the masses of God have a way of exempting you, of delivering you from being consumed by whatever has been consuming your family so that's why we are going to cry for god's mercy tonight we are going to cry for god's mercy so understand this god's mercies have a way of delivering you and they do not fail his mercies faileth not his compassion does not fail now hear this there is a man called the blind Bartimaeus. The blind, blind Bartimaeus I, was a blind man. Was a blind man. And one time, as he was begging by the wayside, he had Jesus who was passing by. And when he heard about Jesus, he stopped everything and began to cry for mercy. What he was he saying? David! Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Someone say, Lord, have mercy on me. Now shout loud, Lord have mercy on me. Have mercy on my marital life. Have mercy on my children. Deliver me by your mercies. Deliver me by your mercies. The man cried for mercy. People tried to silence him. He said, nonsense. I will cry for mercy. Are you the one bearing the burden? I'm the one bearing the challenge. Mm, you have your two eyes. Why should you silence me? I want to see the way you are saying. The man cried the loudest. And Jesus heard him. The Bible says he stood still. Every cry of mercy will arrest the attention of heaven. Every cry of mercy will arrest the attention of heaven. And when heaven is arrested, it will attend to you. In Jesus precious name. Someone say, Lord of mercy on me. Look at Psalm 136. Psalm 136. That's why I told you there's something David knew about mercy. David was not living as if he was in the Old Testament. David was living like he was in the New Testament. He was living in a different world. Psalm 136. Look at verse 24. The Bible says, and has redeemed us from our enemies for his mercy endureth forever. He has redeemed us. He has delivered us from our enemies. Why? Because his mercy endureth forever. Look at 143. Psalm 143 and first number, number, number 4. I mean, the first number 12, please. 
and of thy mercy cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul for i am thy servant david was crying unto god to fight for him no wonder saul never managed to kill david goliath could not kill david david knew the secret of crying for mercy lord cut off my enemies so before he went to face goliath he had already cried for mercy lord have mercy on me lord have mercy on me deliver my enemy from my me from my enemies psalms chapter 9 Verse 13, Psalms chapter 9 and verse number 13. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble. I don't know what kind of trouble you are in. I don't know what kind of challenge you are facing. But hear the prayer of David. Hear the prayer of David. Psalm 9, verse 13. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that ate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death. In other words, he's telling God, lift me. You are my lifter. In your masses, lift me from death. In your masses, deliver me. Deliver me. In your masses, deliver me. Someone say, Lord. In your masses, deliver me tonight. In your masses, deliver my family. In your masses, oh Lord in the abundance of your mercy in the riches of your mercy deliver me tonight let me encounter the force of mercy tonight in jesus mighty name let me show you something extra about god's mercy let me see my god's mercies and i put it let me put it better the creative and the miracle working power of God flows on the wings of mercy. Gufu za umbaji na za utendaji wa miunjiza sinatembea katika mbawa za rehema za Mungu. The creative and the miracle working power of God flows on the wings of mercy. Can I hear you amen? So when you cry for mercy you can provoke any dimensional miracle. When Jesus fed the 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread, before he fed them, the Bible says, and he saw them scattered like sheep without a, a shepherd. They had followed him for three days. They had not eaten. And the Bible says he was moved by compassion. He was moved by compassion. When he was moved by compassion, that compassion provoked the miracle of multiplication. When he came at the tomb of Lazarus and he saw the way people were wailing and weeping, the Bible says, and Jesus wept. He was weeping out of compassion, out of mercy. And what happened? The miracle of, um, of, of resurrection was provoked. Look at Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Psalm 136, I'll read verse number 4 to 7. The Bible says, To him who alone doeth great wonders, great wonders, we are talking of miracles, for his mercy endured it forever. The reason is why God does these great wonders is because of his mercy. Verse number 5, To him that by wisdom made the heavens for his mercy endured it forever. Look at that. The power of creation was in motion because of his mercy. Verse number six. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters for his mercy endured it forever. To him that made great lights for his mercy endured it forever. So these works of God, great works of God in creation were in motion as a result of his mercy that endures forever. In Matthew chapter nine, you can read at your own time from verse 27 to 30. There were two blind men who were by the roadside. And they heard about Jesus. And the Bible says, they cried unto him, Jesus, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. And they kept on following Jesus, crying for mercy. They followed Jesus, crying for mercy. And he ended in a certain house. And when they arrived there, 
he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do? And they said, we want to see. We want to see. And he opened their blind eyes. He opened their blind eyes. Look at this. In Matthew 15, verse 22, onward to around 25, 25, there is a woman called the Canaanite woman. A woman who is not even born again. And her child was being tormented by demons, a daughter. And she came to Jesus. And she said, Jesus, have mercy on me. Hear that prayer of mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. And Jesus ignored her. Why did he ignore her? Because that dispensation was not for the gender. It was for the lost sheep of Israel. It was for the Israelites. But she pressed and said, and okay, when she cried the more, she said, Children, food is not meant for dogs. But this woman persisted and said, Even when children are eating, there are crumbs that fall from the table, and dogs eat them. Mimi staki chakula ilio kwa meza, nataka ile meanguka chini. That's what she was telling Jesus. Mimi staki reema zile simenja kwa meza, nataka zile simeanguka tu, nataka vipanda vivanda vya neema zinianguki. That's a woman who is not born again. Yes, wakasema, I've never seen such a kind of faith. Daughter, I mean, woman, your daughter is meant who? Immediately, that prayer, that declaration, deliver the daughter of that woman. You are not in gender, you are a bona, bona fide child of God. Why should we not cry for mercy tonight? If our daughter was delivered when she cried for mercy, your horn will be delivered tonight. Your business will be delivered tonight. Your destiny will be delivered tonight. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. It's a cry for mercy. You will encounter the power of deliverance. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Do you want establishment in your business, establishment in your career? The force behind establishment is mercy. Look at Psalm 21. Psalm 21, verse number 7. Psalm 21, verse number 7. I want to finish because of time. I want us to cry to God for mercy. Verse number 7. For the king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Hear that statement. Psalm 21, I'm reading verse number 7. For the king trusted in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. That means it shall be established. It shall be confirmed. We want to cry for God's mercy. You must be established. Look at Isaiah 16. Isaiah 16 and verse number 5. Isaiah 16. Kumina Sita. Mr. Watano. And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall star, he shall sit upon it in truth, in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and esteeming righteousness. And in mercy shall the throne be established. In mercy shall your business be established. In mercy shall your marriage be established. In mercy, in mercy shall the throne be established. We want to cry for mercy. Remember, mercy is the seat of communion in the Old Testament. Mungu akambia Musa, tengenesa the ark of covenant, the ark, the ark of testimony. Na juu yake uweke kiti kinaitwa kiti cha rehema. Build a seat of mercy. They call it the the mercy seat. And you shall build make what you call the cherubims. Akatengenesa malaika wanaitwa makirubi wakufunika kila kiti cha rehema. And the Lord told Moses, I shall come down upon the mercy seat and I shall commune with you. I shall commune with you. God fellowships with you on the seat of mercy. That's why the Bible says, come to the throne of grace. Boldly. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. That you may obtain mercy and find grace to help you in the time of need. Very fast. About three minutes. How can I provoke God's mercy? How can I provoke it? How can I provoke it? Number one is through sincere repentance. Tell me, sincere repentance. 
Sincere repentance. If you want God's mercy to answer you tonight, Usijifiche. Proverbs 28, verse number 13. Maandiko nasema afichae dambi zake atafanikiwa. Mbali aziungamae na kuziacha ataonea warehema atapata. Well, whatever I did sin shall never prosper. But he that repented and forsaken them, the Bible says, shall obtain mercy. So me, I want to obtain mercy tonight. So we are going to approach God and tell the Lord, Lord, I don't know what my parents might have done. I don't know what my great, great grandfather did. He might have done something that has cause the predicament and the challenges in my life tonight i repent i repent on behalf of, of my father i repent on behalf of my mother i repent on behalf of my great 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 grandparents lord have mercy on my blood lineage have mercy on my bloodline forgive us lord i repent the abomination i repent their wickedness lord have mercy that's why Hosea 10 12 the bible says Sow yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy, for it's the time to seek the Lord. You sow yourself in righteousness in order to reap in mercy. So in righteousness, you are breaking before the Lord. You are repenting. You are breaking. You are yielding yourself to God. You are breaking before Him. You are telling the Lord, I am the reason. You remember when Jonah was in the ship? Mm. So what wakaanza kutafutana ni nani yako na shida Wakaenda kukuta mtu wako chini huku wa melala Wakamuamusha Kamuleza wewe Unjali ya kwamba tunangamia Sijui kama ni kiswa hili ya kamuleza wewe mulali Sijui Unjali kama tunafani tunangamia Akawambia mimi ndiyo shida What did he say? I am the problem. Mimi ndiyo shida. So don't, don't shift. It is accepting your responsibility and the repenting on your behalf and on behalf of your family. Matthew 9, 13, the Bible says, I will have mercy and no sacrifice. For I did not come to call righteous to repentance, but sinners to repentance. So that's why he says, I will have mercy and no sacrifice. So God repass, I mean, reverse repentance at a higher level than sacrifice. So, number one, we are going to break before the Lord tonight. Ata kama utatembea kwa magot, utatembea kwa magot. Even if utaizi kuangu kambele za buwana, angu kambele za buwana, crying for mercy. Uambie buwana, nimechoka na ishida. Kama ishida ni kwa sababu ya zambi zilio tendwa katika uko wetu. Lord, I want them to come to an end. That's why I'm repenting the way I'm repenting. Number two, you must walk in the fear. Say me, walking in the fear of the Lord. Now, God does not deny them that walk in fear. Is, 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 is mercy. He shows mercy to them that walk in fear. Very fast. Number three, you must cry for the mercy. So number one is repenting, repentance, and walking in fear. Number two. Number three, you cry. Now you make that prayer. I've already spoken of this. Cry for mercy. Cry for mercy. Humble yourself before him. Cry to the Lord. Look at Psalm 51. Wakati Daudi. Alikuwa measi mbele ya mungu. Akachukua bedisheba. Na akawa uria. That's wickedness. The man had taken somebody's wife. To make the matter worse, he killed the husband. Look at that abomination. Mina jua yako inja fiki hapo. Look at this. First number one. Look at David crying to God. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender masses, blot out my transgression. <laughs> now he's telling God, he's reminding God how great his mercy is. And we have seen from the scripture, his masses are above the heavens. So David was kneeling before the Lord and telling God, Lord, I'm not coming unto you on the ticket of my righteousness. I know I have done wickedly before you. Now, according to the multitude, according to the greatness of your tender masses, Lord, remember me. Forgive me, I cry to you. He was crying for mercy. 
I've told you, but Mars cried for mercy. Number, number three, is it number three, number, number four? Allow the love of God to fill your heart. The love of remember love God's love work together with mercy. So if you love God, He will show you His mercy. Look at Deuteronomy chapter five, verse ten. Deuteronomy five ten. Deuteronomy five ten. The Bible says, "And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love Me and keep My commandment, He shows mercy." To thousands of them that love him. He shows mercy. To thousands of them that love him. So, actually a chuki. Actually a bitterness. Actually a kutosame. Wacha mungu anjase moyo wako na upendo. The love of God to fill your heart. The love of God. The love of God. And finally, just to mention. You need to sow the seeds of mercy. Sow what? To sow the seeds of mercy means show other people mercy. Show other people mercy. Unakuta, unamulilia mungu wa kuremu na wewe, ukuta mtu wa kikosea wewe, hey, unachomuanga ile list, unaiweka kwa mesa. You remember January, kile ulinisendea. You remember the second week of January. You are counting them one by one. <laughs> he says in, in Matthew chapter 5, verse number 7, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. He shall show them mercy. So realize the secret of sowing mercy. So let the mercy of the Lord, Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 3, let the mercies of the Lord and his truth not forsake you. Do not allow them to depart from you. Don't let mercy and truth not forsake you, please. Embrace mercy. Show mercy. Show mercy to people. Show mercy to people. And talk of his mercies. Amen. That's why Daudi Sazote alikuwa naimba wimbo wa rehema sabawana. And asema, his mercies endures forever. For his mercy endures forever. When you are talking of his mercy, I know he will show me mercy this morning. Today, I will walk in God's mercy. As you are talking that way, you are provoking his mercies upon your life. Can I hear you? Hey, Amen. Today, creative miracles will happen by God's mercy. Today, deliverance will take place by God's mercy. Be on your feet, please. We are going to cry for God's mercy. We are going to cry for God's mercy. Now, before we tell the Lord to have mercy on us tonight, I want you to be very sincere to yourself. Viewers from wherever you are watching this service from, please, I want you to remain focused. We are now going before the Lord in repentance, crying for God's mercy. Please begin to repent wherever you are. Join the brethren in the church, in this altar, please. We want to cry to God. That's the beginning point, repenting. Begin with yourself. Repent on behalf of your father, on behalf of your mother, on behalf of your grand. Whatever now flows in the bloodline, there might be challenges flowing in the bloodline. Maybe asthma. Lord, let this asthma be terminated. Maybe epilepsy. Let this epilepsy be terminated. It will not get into my children. It will not get into my life. Maybe women in that bloodline do not get married. And once they get married, the, the marriage will break without explanation. Break that thing in the bloodline. Cry for God's mercy. Tell the Lord, I don't know. See, Jui, Kinacho Sawabisha Yishida. But today, I'm not coming on the platform of righteousness. I'm coming on the platform of mercy. I'm crying on the ticket of mercy. In the abundance of your mercy. In the greatness of your tender mercies, your loving kindness. Daddy, forgive us. Dad, forgive my mother. Forgive my father. Forgive my parents. Forgive whatever they did long, long time ago. Terminate this affliction. In was out here. Begin to cry to God. Begin to cry to God somebody tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody very sincere from your heart. Lord, I cry for mercy, Lord. Rabo shakato sakapa raba shahata. Lema shagadia zagadu zagaba. I cry for mercy tonight. I cry for mercy tonight. 
Lord, I repent our abomination, our wickedness, our iniquity. I repent in the name of Jesus. I repent in the name of Jesus. I don't know what my parents might have done to warrant challenges upon challenges in my life. I repent tonight. I cry for mercy. I don't know what my great, great my grandparents have, might have done that has become an open door for challenges for attacks in my life i don't know what they did i don't know the abomination i don't know their wickedness tonight i am not coming on the ticket of righteousness i'm coming on the ticket of mercy i cry to you lord remember your loving kindness lord your tender mercies your tender mercies lord your tender mercies lord forgive us forgive us forgive us lord i cry for mercy tonight forgive us forgive us lord sanctify us lord in your mercies cleanse us lord in your mercy sanctify us lord burn a mumbo to the hemu naiti sharema naiti sharema zako baba naiti sharema zako baba i cry for mercy tonight i cry for mercy i cry for mercy lord have mercy on me i know they walked in abomination they walked in wickedness lord i plead for your mercies, Lord, upon my life, upon my roots. I am crying for mercy in the roots of my life, in the roots of my marriage, in the roots of my family, in the roots of my children. I cry for mercy. I cry for your mercies. Jehovah God, Jehovah God, let your mercies answer me tonight. Daddy God, let your mercies answer me tonight. Let your mercies answer me tonight in your mercies deliver me in your mercies lord deliver me deliver me lord let your mercies answer me let your mercies silence the, the voice of the accuser let your mercy silence the enemy in my life. Let your mercy silence the enemy in my life. Let your mercy silence the voice of the accuser in my life. In my life. Daddy God, I cry for mercy. I cry for mercy tonight. I cry for mercy tonight. I cry for mercy tonight. In your mercy, deliver me from sickness. In your mercy, deliver me. Deliver me. In your mercy deliver me in your mercies deliver me daddy god deliver me lord your loving kindness who oh, endures forever lord your mercies endure forever lord your compassion does not fail your compassion does not fail i need deliverance lord i need deliverance lord show me lord mercy lord i cry for mercy somebody cry for mercy lord have mercy on me have mercy on me tonight have mercy on me tonight have mercy on me tonight in your mercies deliver me in your tender mercies deliver me ramu shaka do zaga do zaka paraba shekata saka paraba shahata liba shandala bashata i cry for mercy tonight i cry for your mercies tonight i cry for your mercies lord tonight Remember this menace, Lord. I cry for your mercies, Lord. I cry for your mercies tonight. Ramo shaka do zaka do zata. Lema shaka da zaka paraba. Sheke te seke piri bizota. Lema shaka do zoko to zoko paraba. Shahata lebo zoka te seka pira busa. Te libo zogo do zoko paraba. Shalala babusa talaba. Let your mercies answer tonight. Let your masses prevail tonight. Let your masses prevail tonight. Let your masses prevail tonight. Lord, in your masses, deliver me. Somebody pray for your deliverance. Lord, in your masses, deliver me. In your masses, deliver my family. Deliver my marriage. Let your masses answer me. I don't know 
Now what was done? But I cry for mercy. I cry for mercy. I cry for mercy. Your combustion does not fail. Your combustion faileth not. Your combustion does not fail. Your mercies are new every morning. Your mercies are new every morning. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me tonight. Deliver my children. Deliver my marriage. Deliver my children. Deliver me, Lord. Change my story. Heal my life, heal my destiny, heal my career, deliver my finances, Lord, deliver my finances, deliver my job, deliver my business, deliver me, Lord. I cry for mercy. Rabo shakato sakate se kapi kabo rabo shahata. Lebo shakata sakapa zita libo sata shekata sakapa raba. Daddy, I know you never shut your ears. Against the cry of mercy, you will never shut your ears, Lord. Against the cry of mercy, Rabu Shakata Sakapa Satalaba Shekete Sekapi Kabo Rabu Shahata. Let the chronic disease be terminated on the platform of mercy. Let that affliction be terminated on the cry of mercy. Let that sickness that disease that oppression be terminated on the cry of mercy on the on the cry of mercy the bondage the bondage be broken on the cry of mercy on the cry of mercy let them bondage be terminated the joblessness be terminated the force of witchcraft be broken tonight the force of witchcraft the force of witchcraft be broken tonight we cry for mercy lord we cry for mercy lord tonight let that affliction be terminated that affliction be terminated that affliction be terminated that affliction be terminated we are cry for mercy tonight that affliction be terminated that joblessness be terminated that oppression be terminated on the cry of mercy Rabu shakata sakapa raba shahata lima shegede sakapa raba shalala babu sata lima shandala bashata lima shakata sakapa zita libu shata lima shakata sakapa zete lebe shahata lima shagado sokupo raba shahata laba shanda lima shiala laba babu sata laba tell the Lord of mercy of mercy on my children of mercy on my children they will never Never suffer the way I suffered. My children shall know suffer the way I suffered. My children be exempted. Cry for mercy upon your children. Cry for God's mercy upon your children. Let the Lord remember you. Tell the Lord, remember me tonight. Remember me tonight. Remember me tonight. Remember my family tonight. Remember my children tonight. Remember my business tonight. Somebody pray. Pray. The Lord remember you. Cry for mercy in that business. Let the mercies of God give you promotion. Let the mercies of God begin to lift you. Let the mercies of God begin to lift you. Somebody cry for mercy rabo shakata sakapa surrender totally to jesus surrender to jesus surrender to jesus tell the lord i choose to love you more i choose to love you with all my heart i choose to love you with all my heart i choose to love you with all my soul i forgive those who have at me somebody begin to forgive begin to forgive those who have at you you must show mercy you must sow the seed of mercy somebody sow the seed of mercy by forgiving those who have at you wasame walio kumiza walio kunenea wasame begin to sow the seeds of mercy somebody sow the seeds of mercy tonight sow the seeds of mercy somebody show kindness rabu shakata sakaba zieta liaba shanda lumu shahata laba shendele besota laba god of all flesh is anything too hard for you god of all flesh is anything too hard for you stretch your hand of power in your masses no some konwa miunjiza no some konwa ukombozi katika wingi warema zako baba no some konwa now tender me on Jesus. No, some corner of our ponyanchi. 
nosha mkono unaofungua milango milango ikafunguke milango ya baraka milango ifunguke milango ifunguke milango ikafunguke milango ifunguke milango ifunguke milango ifunguke uponyanyi utendeke miunjiza itendeke miunjiza itendeke miunjiza itendeke riba shakata sakapa Zeta libu shahata lema shahagadu zagadu zaga zekata sakapa ni jambo gani usiloliweza ni jambo gani baba usiloliweza ni jambo gani baba usiloliweza wewe ni muweza yote 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 rabu shakata sakapa raba shahata lebo shalala babu satalaba ambi Bwana atende muujiza katika wingi wa rehema zake panza kupokea muujiza wako anza kupokea ukombozi wako in the habitats of his mercy in the habitats of his mercy somebody begin to receive your miracle in the greatness of his tender mercies claim your miracle tonight claim your miracle tonight rabu shakata sakapa zahai talia mashanga doza that he go show you a power in the lives of your people let there be transformation let there be great deliverance let there be great deliverance great healing great restoration let there be great restoration 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 in your mercy's lord let there be restoration of families restoration of marriages restoration shakata sakaparaba hata lima shalala babu satalaba morobo shalala baba malaba bushinde libi sotalaba molobo shatalaba shanda liba zagada sakaparaba shalala babu setelebi thank you father thank you master thank you jesus in jesus precious name we are prayed and god's people say amen this oil just just anoint the palm and anoint your forehead very fast please and once you are knowing dead begin to command that challenge to go now because god's mercies have answered you tell me his mercies is upon me his mercies are upon my life tonight is my night i'm here for my miracle i'm here for my deliverance now open your mouth and begin to command the enemy to lose by fire by the blood of jesus by the mercies of god command the devil lose my family lose my destiny lose my career one minute command that sickness command that disease to god command that challenge command that bondage command it command it command it wherever you are in the mighty name of jesus very fast very fast begin to command begin to command begin to command anoint your forehead command the enemy to lose your finances command the enemy to lose your family command the enemy to lose somebody pray wherever you are pray wherever you are pray command the enemy to lose 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 wherever you are begin to command the enemy command the enemy to lose command the enemy to lose command the enemy to lose your finances lose my money lose my career lose my destiny lose my family command the enemy to lose by fire by fire by fire by fire i declare deliverance on this place he has deliverance be free now i command every devil under the sound of my voice wherever you are loose in the name of jesus come out by fire by fire by fire i command you right now lose the masses of god are in operation the masses of god are to work i command fibros lose in the name of jesus i command my grain attack lose in the name of jesus i command that witchcraft come out in the name of jesus i command my genie my genie spirit wherever you are lose in the name of jesus i command you out i command a bondage i break that curse 
I break the cast. I break the spell. I break the bondage. I command you loose. Wherever you are hiding yourself, come out. Joblessness. I command you out. I command you out. I command you out. I break barrenness. I break barrenness. I command joblessness be destroyed. Joblessness be destroyed. You spirit of failure, loose in the name of Jesus. Loose in the name of Jesus. Joblessness, I command you out. Failure, I command you out. You demon, I command you out. Ancestral spirit, come out. Ancestral spirit, come out. Wherever you are, wherever you are by fire, I command you by fire. I command you by fire. Wherever you are out, you cannot stand the masses of God. You cannot stand the masses of God. You cannot stand the blood of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the fire. Holy Ghost to fire, Holy Ghost to fire, Holy Ghost to fire, Holy Ghost to fire. I declare fire, I declare fire, 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 fire. Holy Ghost to fire, Holy Ghost to fire. Let your masses flow, let your masses flow. I command every root be a prutter, be a prutter, be a prutter, be a prutter, be a prutter. You infirmity, be a prutter, you failure, be a prutter. Be a protect, be a protect, barrenness, be a protect, be a protect, be a protect, be a protect, stagnation, be a protect, be a protect, stagnation, be a protect, be a protect, be a protect by fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, be a protect by fire, be a protect by fire, be a protect, you joblessness, you failure. Be uprooted wherever you are. You cannot stand the masses of God. You cannot stand the masses of God. The masses of God at work. The masses of God. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Every bondage in marriage. I break that bondage. By the masses of God, I approve it. I approve that bondage. You spirit husband, I command you out. Spirit husband out. Wherever you are out. Spirit husband, I command you out. I command you out. You rejection, I command you out. I command you out. Every rejection, I command you out. Every force of rejection, I command you out. Wherever you are, Mangini, I command you out. Marine spirit, I command you out. 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 Every marine spirit, I command you out. I command you out by fire by fire by fire by fire the masses of god to answer 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 let there be liberation liberation of families liberation of marriages liberation of destinies liberation 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 rebo shakatu sakadu zada ze kaparaba shahata le mashigada ze agabya babo Shakatu Saka Baraba Shahata Laba Shanda Be free in the name of Jesus 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus Be free in the name of Jesus Be healed in the name of Jesus Be delivered I command the restoration Let there be restoration Restoration in your life Financial restoration, spiritual restoration, restoration in business, restoration in your career, restoration in your marriage. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. 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 Shakata Saka Paraba. In your masses, daddy. I stand to bless your people. I bless the work of their hands. In the name of Jesus. I bless your business. In the name of Jesus, I bless your career. In the name of Jesus, I bless your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I bless your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, I bless your going out. In the name of Jesus, I bless your coming in. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Be blessed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, be free. In Jesus precious name you are blessed
please put your hands together and better if you are sure you are blessed you are delivered in jesus name put your hands together and better in jesus glorious name by the mercies of god you are really restored in jesus name please you can be seated in the presence of god in such powerful presence of god wholesome presence of god we are here to worship the lord to honor the lord the king of kings with our offerings the almighty god who is rich in mercies he has given us another opportunity such a great privilege to be able to give unto him and he is the owner of everything therefore this evening we are going to package our tithes our thanksgiving offering our free will offering our sacrifice our fast fruit and if you are connected to this service online or maybe you are here you want to use the mpesa facility we have the till number which is 586916 you go lipa na mpesa buy goods and services and then you put the mpesa till number 586916 the bible says in the book of I'll just read a few verses because of time. First Chronicles chapter number 29. I'll read first one and I'll skip to a few verses. The Bible says, Furthermore, David, the king, said unto all the congregation, Solomon, my son, whom alone God has chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great. For the palace is not of man, but it for the Lord God. And then I'll skip to verse 10. Wherefore, David blessed the Lord before all the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is thy, and in the, is the kingdom. O Lord, thou art exalted as end above all. Verse 12, both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in the end end is power and might and in the end is to make great and to give strength unto all then first 13 and 14 now therefore our god we thank thee and praise thy glorious name but who am i and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort for all things come of thee and of thy own are we given thee so even as we are giving tonight i want us to give you this understanding that the almighty god is the owner of everything therefore whatever we are here to give unto him belongs unto him Please, I request that you stand on your feet. You want that offering your right hand and just lift it before the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, what a great, great privilege that you have given unto me tonight that I'm able to give unto you whatever belongs unto you. Father, receive my tithe this evening. Receive my free will offering this evening. Receive my sacrifice tonight, everlasting Father. I am here to acknowledge your great masses upon my life. I thank you because by your masses you have delivered me. You have restored me, King of our glory. Father, I worship you, my daddy. I pray that you may receive my tithe. Receive my free will offering, my Father. I am here to glorify your name. Receive my thanksgiving offering, my Father. I exhort you, King of all glory. What a great privilege, my Father, to be able to give unto you. We thank you and we bless your glorious name. Thank you for receiving our offerings tonight. Bless them be your name forever. We worship you and we exhort your glorious name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped and the people of God say, Amen. Please, you can cast that offering, Joy Glanis. If you are packaged in an, offering, in an envelope, we have two baskets. If you are seated on this side, you come to this side. Those who are on this side, you drop it in this basket, and the Lord God bless you. Put your hands together. Once again, we welcome God's servant, our Father, to release us to our night of victory, and God bless you. You are blessed. Amen. You are favored. Amen. It is well with your life. Amen. I speak life in whatever you will touch from tonight. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, life in that business, life in your career, life in your finances. While others shall be talking of going down, you shall say this lifting up. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, you will surely be celebrated. The blessed shall call you blessed. The blessed shall call you blessed. You are favored in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. Please remember our service this coming Sunday. The first service, 8 in the morning. And the second service is from 10. Please don't miss. What you encounter on the altar of service is different from what you encounter in the house. In the house, you have to increase your faith to connect from home to this place. So please be available. Charge your people. You have, we have the teens. Those who are 13 years and above, we have their class on Sunday we, from, from 10. There's a class for teens, those who are from 10 and above, 10 to 
13, yeah, 13. Yeah, that those are 13, 13, 14, 15. We have a class for the teens. And the rest, you shall collect a material to go and discuss with your children. And the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for coming. For those who are connecting to this service, thank you. Thank you for liking our page. Thank you for connecting. I believe you have received something. So let's share goodness in fellowship, surely. Goodness and mercy, signs, wonders, and miracles shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall be in the presence of God forever and ever. Amen. Peace, shalom, God bless you. Amen. Thank you.